Oh, a nice big anvil would be great right now. Oh, hopefully that's good enough. It's a tube. Looks so good. Looks so good. It sounds like a little baby. that a little bit. 
Not bad though. Enough. Well, I think I need to make more fancy stuff. It needs wallpaper. balconies and wallpaper still? Man, look at my thing. Can you, do I need to get crayons on this or something? One hard piece of metal. Wait a minute, I've got another. Oh, yeah! This will be much easier to bend. No, just unscrew the screw from this side. Okay, this is a much better size, too, because I'll be able to do the whole thing in one piece. And since it's thinner metal, I mean, the Thing doesn't have to be thick metal on the outside. Yeah, this is this is plenty strong. All right, choose this.
got my hand. Chances that's gonna fit on the first try. No. <laughs> All right. It's close. All right, me start. How'd you get the other one? Oh, I can't believe you got it. Man, those rivets are hard to do. Nice muscles. All right, you dismantle some rivets so we can shorten them. old stove I think you've had it but your insulation is coming with me wow
Good. Oh, pretty good damn damn wood. Wood up here, air goes in there, fire! And I'm thinking right now I'm just gonna put three rocks on the top of here. And at some point, I might put a piece of sheet metal around here and then like make little crenellations like the top of a castle tower for the air to get out. I'm gonna see how it goes with the rocks first. Well, I guess we better make dinner. Good thing I got it done in time. <laughs> got some sweet updraft that was really easy to light. Wow, it is not hot. Yeah, the outside's not hot at all, is it? That burned up all that wet wood pretty quick. Oh man, I'm gonna melt the camera. Good stuff. Beauty. All right, so what's so special about an insulated tube? Well, it burns almost smokeless. Like there's basically nothing up here as long as you have dry wood or relatively dry wood. And that's because the smoke is flammable. And in an open fire, the, the smoke doesn't burn because as it goes up into the air, it cools off and then it's not hot enough to burn. But in, in the insulated tube, it stays hot this whole way up. So the, the smoke has a chance to all burn up in there and then you just get hot. I still wouldn't want to breathe that, but you know, just like carbon dioxide and whatever. I don't know. Anyway, the other cool thing is that since this uh, is so full of hot air and it's a tall thing, the hot air in there rises and sucks air in here. So it's like having a little blower on the fire the whole time. And it, you know, keeps it hot, keeps it hotter with less wood. It's just an efficient way of burning the wood. And getting the heat to go directly where you want it to. It's out here. This isn't. This is hot now, but like I can touch it. But most of the heat's just going right up through the tube to where I'm cooking. Ooh, time to flip. The next obvious question is why would I cook with wood when there are all these other options, gas and electricity and all this stuff? Well, wood is reliable, and I can make it myself. Like whatever I'm doing, I don't want to have to buy fuel constantly because I, I like to be self-sufficient in my life. And uh, wood's just all over the place. Like here, this little this little patch of trees here drops enough dead wood on the ground to, to keep me going. And then, you know, over here, I've got a whole tree that fell down. So uh, cut pieces off that whenever. 
Otherwise, that stuff would just uh, sit there and rot. Oh, oh, okay, okay. The real reason is that if a zombie apocalypse happens, the the gas station will be gone and won't be able to get you know, propane or whatever. Ugh, I hate the idea of buying fuel. <sighs> yeah, I never want to have to buy fuel. I'm never, I'm never buying fuel. I grew up in a city, and what I always hated about it was that everything is a subscription. Oh, rent. Mortgage, car payment, phone bill, cable, just on and on. Every every month, it's just like these things coming after you. It's like it's like just to exist, you have to pay a certain amount every month. It's like running down a tunnel and there's a bus chasing you. And if you're not running fast enough, it's going to run you down and take your phone. And then it's going to take your cable. And then it's going to take your internet. And then your car, and then your house, and then your... Oh, oh man. There's never, never a chance to just, like, 